up your voices and sing. Come on, celebrate Jesus. I promise you, I'm just loving church more and more. You ladies make me love church. Thank you once again for that very powerful, 
powerful ministration. Just before we get into the word, and I get you to magnify God in your spirit just a little more and just bless his name and place his greatness before you. And the Bible says they spoke in tongues in the book of Acts and magnify, they declare the wonderful works of God. Can you declare the wonderful works of God this day? Standing of you, Lord, you're great. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're worthy. Makabarata la kabayat. Shebarakata namanaka. Lord, we place your greatness before us today. You are going to see another dimension of his, of his life, of his love, and of his power because you place his greatness before you his greatness before you God you are great and you are greatly to be praised standing of your grace all of your greatness, all of your power. Lord, we worship you. The choir has helped us today and we lift you up the more. I lift you up in my life. I lift you up in my family. I lift you up in the church. I lift you up for my week. This new week, I lift you up. Be in front. Be on top. Lord, take my back. Be above me. Everything around me, just you. You are magnified. You are glorified. You are lifted up. Above all else. Above all else, King of Heaven. Above all else, King of Heaven. Above all else, King of Heaven. Your greatness is before us. Your might is before us. Your grace is before us. What a week I am getting into because you are in front. As I maintain my devotions before you, you take charge because I've given it to you. I don't have a mind, I don't have a concept, I don't have any decisions, all yours, all yours, all yours, all yours. Let me think like you, let me see like you, let me hear like you, let me walk like you, let me act like you. Oh God of heaven, may I say the words that you want to hear, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be accepted acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my Redeemer, my strength, you are my glory and the lifter of my head. Every way in this week, King of Heaven. Every way, every way, every way. I lift you up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Worthy is your name. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Thine is the church. Thine is the grace. 
We are ready for you, King of Heaven. One more time, please lift your two hands. Tell him, not by might, not by power, by your spirit. Send your spirit. Tell him again. For this week. For my decisions. Oh, by your spirit, God. For your finances. Not by my By your spirit. For all the ways you will go. This week. We stand in love you. Lord, this is your church. Look at our decisions, Lord. We stand in love you. Kiana Bakashate. Baya na 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 na. We stand in love. I hope your two hands are spread. Just, just spread your hands like this and say, I stand, I stand in love. Lord, we think, Lord, we make decisions in all of you. We stand. Everywhere we go, everything we say, everything we think, every decision we make, we stand in love. You, Lord God of heaven, right hands lifted now. In your power and in your grace, mighty God, everlasting Father. Matabaka, <laughs> divinity infused in humanity, divine omnipotent effacement to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world. Madonna Kato, Dele Sorim, Entelede Sorian. Pass for man na kat no hoske tenedesh. Titi na fa na kabaha. Sister of Unume Sister. Unumai shabalak tenedes. Gina foro kanalongos. Pereket no hozosa. In other words, everyone in this house king of heaven may your word saturate us Amen. your spirit fill us Amen. this morning we're hearing a new word for our month may these words be infused in us Amen. thank you king of heaven in jesus mighty name we've prayed ensure the blessing on everyone around you and you may keep your seats thereafter make sure you touch everyone around you Touch everyone around you and tell them, be blessed being around me. Be blessed being around me.
Hallelujah. It's um, every first Sunday of the month that the Spirit of God gives us a new theme for the month. And we share it and it characterizes our lives as it has been doing over the years. On Sunday last week in Abuja, I, I told them, I said, all of you are coming for the first time today, but we have been teaching the Word of God for the past 16 years, and we will make sure that what we have learned in 16 years, you can receive it even now that you came. You know that is intelligence, that a new person comes to church and is able to follow what you have done for 16 years. It is intelligence. It is intelligence. That's one of the reasons I love what Sanctuary, because what God is doing with us as a church, I have not seen it elsewhere. Um, a few days ago, I was in a meeting with a number of our leaders in Abuja Church with our central churches minister. And we had a lot of conversations uh, about how the church will run in my absence because uh, everybody is busy. You know, everyone is busy. And whenever you, we are scheduling, I mean, these are lessons that are vital lessons that I'm learning by the Holy Spirit. Um, when the Spirit of God told me that Minister Onyudu was going to be in charge of this church, I was excited. And I was delighted about that. And I discovered that the Spirit of God said that, and it was easy for me to get it because of her own track record in the house of God. Then the Spirit of God said to me, that Minister Jemima was going to be in charge of the church in Abuja. Now, to administrate or administer leadership to a church is not very easy. In fact, you cannot force it. If you have the skills and the quality to lead, it will be expressed by the things you do in the church and a self-conscious person or somebody with enough presence of mind every time he's around people he is going to be conscious that everything i am doing now there's going to be a future need reference or a taking over that will call forth all of your skills and your graces in leadership so the little things that you are doing today, in the, in the, in the evening, I'm, I'm going to talk about a number of things in the evening um, service because that affords us some opportunity to minister to our other installations because right now they are in their own services and they are sharing the word of God. And so whenever people are tasked with administering leadership in the church, if they are not well supported, it might be very difficult for such to still have enough mind to even preach. Because one of the reasons that I don't answer messages anytime it is like between 24 to 48 hours to a service, I no longer read messages, I no longer talk to people on phone, I don't want anybody talking to me. You know why? Because I don't want them to minister to me a corruption, and some of them might not be necessarily negative or dirty or problematic, but just that content is not what the mind, the soul, that has to be amended to minister to the people. That is not what that mind needs. And that's why to be the wife of a great man is also very important. My wife would say at certain points that 
when people come, with, she says, you see, at this kind of time, we cannot tell him stuff like this. Let's wait till it's over. Why? You don't want to mix the ministrations because it's the same heart that you are you going to receive with that you are going to deliver with. So I prefer to hear God all the way. I was telling you in money conference on Tuesday that I do not listen to news anymore. Why? Because I used to listen to news. Listen to this. I used to listen to news because I know that my spiritual children are all over the world. So I need the news of what is happening so I can know whether to make a phone call or to just pray for them, depending on what is happening in that region of the world. And then, suddenly, I discovered that I was getting tight. Everything about my evenings were very tight. And how I wake up in the mornings were not very good. And it continued. So you don't sleep well. Uh, you don't, under the conditions with which you sleep, is not the best. Then you wake up with a setting in your mind that you don't just like and appreciate. So I said, God, what is, what is wrong? Why are my nights tight like this? He said to me, you cannot finish your schedule during the day, teaching the word of God all through the day, then you finish with the devil's summary. Which is what the news is all about. Everything the devil has done in the world, that's what their cameras will go and pick. The ones their cameras cannot pick, they will use a phone call to do it. Or you just hear it that the devil has done this again. Or his agents, they've killed people. Disease, COVID, pandemic, bombing of somebody, killing, shooting, stabbing. You know, all kinds of stuff. Government policies, some people are protesting. That is what their news is all about. And whenever there is no deep, bad news, it's as if the news is dry. So the Lord said to me, he said, that is how you always finish your day. When you finish it like that, then you now wake, uh, sleep with it, then you wake and you expect your day to be good. He said, the last thing you put inside was terrible. So I said, Lord, so how do I get news? He said, I'll be giving it to you. I'll be giving it to you. Oh, wow. So that is very helpful. So whatever I need to receive from uh, CNN now or anybody, I get it from heaven directly. And they will give me their own version. That is a life that is absolutely reliant on God. And since then, sir, my sleep has been good. My waking has been all right. In fact, every time my wife will come to me and say, how was your night? I said, splendid. Why? Because even if it's two or three hours I sleep for, by the time I wake up, I slept well, in peace, I woke up in strength, I almost don't feel like praying when I wake up. Why? Because the anointing I slept with was still available when I woke up, which was not the former experience. The former experience, for like one hour, I will be battling. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, then my mind will just go. Terrible things. You go for like five minutes, then you come back, oh, I'm sorry. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You are the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and great. Uh, then you go again, nonsense. All I say, oh Lord, I'm sorry, another 10 minutes. So for one hour, it's just a back and forth. It's the problem. What did you put inside before you went to bed? And then I discovered I could be talking, I could be in a meeting. You know, you know, I've not been around for like three, three plus weeks. But those three plus weeks, everything that will happen, the Spirit of God just tells me. Everything that will happen, the Spirit of God just tells me. Or he enters somebody, the person says, this is going to happen. It happens. We were in prayer meeting in advanced team and some of our brethren in Abuja. As we were in the prayer meeting, one of us said, I see so and so around you. He mentioned a certain name. Brothers and sisters, in 24 hours, that fool called me three times. I can't mention names. The so-called who is who, they were phoning him from prayer 24 hours after. Folks said, I want to talk to your wife. Where to take him? As I was passing, I met Minister Jumi on my way. I said, Minister, it's so and so that, was, that is calling that was prophesied 24 hours ago. Minister jumped up and said, Wow. 
and then the next one, and then the next one, like that. Prayer, I have discovered, when your heart is set, it even connects you better than all the so-called connections of this world. Prayer informs you better than any news. I mean, that's my experience. I'm sharing what I'm going through with you. One of us was going through something, and then we were in prayer meeting. I said, just say the Lord. There's somebody in this meeting. I mean, we're not many. A few of us. Before the meeting was done, the folk was texting me, sir, I am the one. <laughs> and I was saying it in the meeting. I said, and I, you know I know you are the one. Then the folk text, text, texted me. So when the folk sent me the text, the following day, no, I think about two days after, because we were so busy, I couldn't even reply to some of those because there were so many. So I said, okay. I see your message. Thank God that God has answered your questions. And as I was saying that, the Spirit of God spoke another, spoke another word. Then I sent him the second one, the Spirit of God. I said, God said this. He said, sir, that's exactly what is happening now. Again, he confirmed it. Now, no news channel can give you that. You can read minds when you are purely receiving from the throne. And I told them, when we were having the prayer for, for Mama eh, 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 during her birthday, we, we had a small get-together organized by Pastor Jackson. And then in the prayer, I, I started sharing the word of God unconsciously because I just told them, I said, can I share some few scriptures with you? Because some people came out and were sharing scriptures. Pastor first was sharing scriptures. I said, let me also share one or two verses of scripture. And while we were sharing the scriptures, again, the Spirit of God moved into the building. And then prophecies were given. And then words were released. Even me, I was like, wow. Every, whether it's a discussion, whether it's a meeting, if it's a, because your heart is so pure. And I told them in that meeting, I said, because we are celebrating her, not because she's a pastor's wife. Because there are some people you celebrate by force. But there are some, when you don't celebrate them, it looks like an offense. Because of what they have done for God. And what they are doing for God. So, when you are soaked like that, you will discover that that is the only thing that dictates your mind. You are entertained by the word of God. You don't need entertainment. In the evening, I'll tell you more things along those lines. What would just make our lives much more beautiful. In Psalm 90 and in verse 12, that's what we always start with in every new first Sunday of the month. I will try to be very brief this morning. It's going to be very intense, very straight, spot on words. You're going to hear something today that will shift you forever. I'm telling you, God is ready to just move us massively. Somebody say amen to that. Are you happy now? He says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. In um, new, new, some newer translations that we use, I think we use about two or three newer translations. Uh, yeah, message is very nice. He says, oh, teach us to live well. Teach us to live wisely and well. So how do you live well? How do you live wisely? You do it by receiving a new word for a new month. You don't want to go and live. For instance, when you slept in the night, what word did you wake with that you want to live with? But then you're able to come every new month, the Spirit of God will come and say. You know, once upon a time, my friend, you know what I used to do? I used to name every week. I would say, today is my day off. Today is my day. It got to a point. I got tired. There was no more English to name weeks. It was not looking like repetition. The Spirit of God said, don't worry. Stick with the one I give because the calendar of your life is the calendar of your church. Run straight from the throne of God. Don't try to run any personal calendar. You don't, the best you can do is to supply your family. I mean, that's all. What about your generation? What about those coming after you? And... So, in scripture, you would observe 
that God barely deals with people beyond their time. How do I mean? Most people in scripture, God was only able to deal with them for their present time. For instance, now that we are on earth and we are alive, God barely deals with people beyond their time. Many people did not even experience enough of God in his own time, talk less of the next generation. Are you still hearing the word of God? Many people struggle to... I'm not talking about today's world. I'm talking about even the Bible. The Bible. So the struggles that you see people have with God didn't just start now. It has always been that even in his time, he is struggling to how much more? What will happen in his next? He doesn't even know what is happening in his time. So it takes another realm of intelligence and spirit. Let me put it as spiritual intelligence that you are able to not only serve God and live with God in your time, but that your next generation was able to benefit from your relationship with God. I am not saying your next generation has to say people like, for instance, I, my, my kids now, for instance, in fact, they are, they are getting to be adults now, you know, that like, what will become of Kim's life, for instance, what will become of David's life, for instance, that is not what I'm talking about. Why? Because when I'm going to church, I hold their hands, I say, let's go to church, we go to church. That, when I'm dead, that's I mean, I'm talking about when I'm gone. And then it is now them and their children. If no preparation was made, anything that happens is by chance. That's what Ecclesiastes says. Time and chance happen to them all, except the one that makes preparation for them. We went to record AJ and uh, and uh, folk, these folks, media folks, we went to record our GS yesterday for some end of Shiloh. You know, this is already, today is, uh, I think, 7th. So Shiloh will be ending on the 30th. So we need to prepare ahead. We need to be prudent. So we went to record him so that he can make an advert, an announcement for the last set of days of Shiloh and what the people of God should expect. Because right now, he, his page is gaining a lot of traction, you know. His page, yesterday we saw some videos that were posted on, on the church, on the, on the Shiloh's uh, uh, World Commission's page now that are recording about 105,000 views, you know. So 105,000 people went there to see. And, you know, I was telling you the last time that when we put up that stream, by the Spirit of God, by instruction, you, you all were there. All their messages, you know, in the beginning was around three, four hundred, you know. Then Pastor Mo went there about two, three weeks ago or so. And then I phoned him, I said, have you seen what's going on with your message on the crusade? He said, no. I said, you got to check it out. As at that time, it was 6,900 views. Then Minister Crown phoned me and said, sir, did you see what is happening with Pastor Mo? I said, yes, it's 6,900. He said, no, it is 7,500 views. I said, oh. So I went to check it. By the time I checked it, it was now 7,800. So I phoned Pastor Mo back. I said, Pastor Mo, are you aware that the stuff is now 8,000? By the time he was checking it, he saw 8,900 views. As I speak with you now, it is now 15,100 views for a message that he preached. I got to sit down on some of you. You don't, the way you celebrate is very. Learning spirit. You hear quality stuff, you'll be looking. Clap again. Uh -huh. 
I don't know if you are not hearing what I'm saying. I said 15,100 human beings went to check out the message that I preached on the cruise. He was telling me, he said, and I didn't really preach much. I said, "Mm -mm, not by might, nor by power. It's not a strong message that gains traction. It's what the Spirit said. Something that used to record 300, 400. It's now 15,000. So we were recording him to, to make announcements of what will happen in the last few days. And just before he came, he started talking to somebody on the phone. We were listening to him because we were in the same room together while we were setting up the cameras and all the sound card and all that. And he was telling the person, he said, I have been preaching before I gave birth to them. So I don't want them to follow the Christianity on television. Because that is the one that has produced the kind of things you are seeing in the world today. The Christianity today is a very funny Christianity. AJ, you got to hear this. And your folks. Uh, is it Papa G you call him, Abi? Is that what you call him? Because I thought I heard you say that. Precious. Precious, you got to hear this. Are you the one on the camera there? Where is he? You are there? Listen to this. So, when we left that place yesterday, I, I think JD was there, right? So, I now said, I wanted to buy those guys. You know, you remember money conference? Go with gifts. So, I said, I wanted to buy those guys. I wanted to give them a, some gifts, some drinks. So, I, I, I saw one of them. I said, I want to buy you drinks. What can I buy? He said, sir, just buy soft drinks. Because some of them also drink other things. I said, like what? He said, like beast. I said, which one is that one? Then he was going further. And so I said, I'm getting confused. I said, I want to buy. You are calling. What's beast? Is it, is it alcohol? What? What? Monster. What is that? Hey, what does it do? Is what? I'm not, I'm not hearing what you're saying. Like Lucas Aid Boost. It now has strong. What is this strong? And it has side effects. What did they put inside? Do you drink it? You don't drink it. The way you are describing it is as if you drink it regularly. Okay, so don't worry. I, I, but my idea is if it's just drink, I mean, just. Fanta or something. But when somebody is now drinking other things, you know, so in my mind, I was like, but you guys are supposed to be church boys and you are still drinking other things. That's today's Christianity. And they know that, that they drink things. And they still serve God. That's today's Christianity. The Christianity that, don't, that doesn't change people. Come as you are and remain. Before you came, you were all sorts. Then you come and you are still like that. No change. Before you came, you were insultive. You are still like that. No. So he was saying, I don't want my children to follow the Christianity on television that has produced bandits, that has produced corrupt people, politicians. Because I needed to, you know, now that I'm working for, I'm somewhat an image maker or image manager of some sort, cultists now have on a, a social media account. Where they post their updates. And the government is seeing it. And Facebook is seeing it. And Instagram. And those things are having hundreds of thousands of views. 
one of them bearing knives and guns. It is social media. So your wala is too much. I saw those things. I even know the name of the, their leaders now, Supreme in Nigeria. Because I couldn't believe it. Like, what? Wow! The most interesting part is they also go to church. That's one of the reasons I know that God gave us a pure church. Pure. That is not diluted. I know, I know. It will soon begin to look like I'm an old school kind of pastor, outdated, you know. When I was, when, 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 when I was putting on my robe this morning, I was just remembering something. <laughs> because I've had this idea of robe a long time ago because I read my, my Leviticus 8 and 9 when they put on those clothes on the... On the, on the priests, even from 2007 in Thai War office, I'll put on those things. Then I'll go to church. Back in the day, I used to have these long kind of robes. One day, somebody met Pastor Mo. He came to church. He said, why was your pastor looking like Dramendra? You know those Indian, Indian movies? So they say, I look like Dramendra. That's what appeared, because the guy has been fed with a lot of Indian film. So he came to church, as he was looking at the pastor, he's Dramendra, he's right. <laughs> They don't have any idea what the Bible says about the appearance of the priest. And people were hailing them. This is our supreme boss. And the government is seeing it. And those guys are, they're even celebrities. They even show them going for shopping with their boys. And when they kill any of them, they go to bury them. They bury them. They are even covering it as they are burying them with knives and guns and the, 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 the wielding knives all and machetes you know, boldly on the streets. I'm like, my God, in this country? The worst part is that they even took it abroad. In Germany, they were walking on the streets of Germany with knives. Christianity produced it. Our Christianity in Nigeria. Another thing I saw in the past few days are people who used to be in church. I met some of them while, while, while we were doing some stuff. And I was looking at them and I said, wow. And I said, Lord, what's wrong with these people? He said, when they don't have capacity, you can't blame them. They used to be in church, or they used to be here. Now they are somewhere else. Before, when they make posts online, they'll be preaching about households out to be one. And now go and check their posts. They put on all kinds of funny stuff. I'm like, yeah. The message was too strange. It was too old school. It was... In fact, some people have called us courtists. Now, this your own is too much. But see what too much is now doing to us. Too much is blessing us. What, that you ring, Don't worry, in the evening I'll tell you, because of time now, I really need to manage the time. Whatever the time can afford. If I cannot finish in the evening, we'll come again next week. Or uh, next service day. Come and hear what God is doing. This one is now raw from the throne, not from any human being. Joshua chapter 1, our theme for this month. Go to verse 8. Everybody look up to your screen. Joshua 1, 8. You're going to read it three times. Then, I, then I'll, now read, I'll now read it. Everybody read it three times. Let's go loudly and excellently from your human spirit. Day and night, 
and has observed to do according to all that is written therein, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Finally, very, very slowly now, you were too fast, come on now. This book of the law depart out of thy mouth, uh huh. But thou shalt meditate day and night. That is written therein. Uh -huh. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Garanalabaka shatta. Our theme for the month is good success. Good success. Good success. One of the definitions of a father, a father means definition. That's one of the definitions of a father. A father means definition. So if you want to define a father, just say, my definition. That's a father. In 2015, our GS took us somewhere as a family. My mom, my siblings, we all went for a family retreat. So, when we got there, we, he allowed everybody to share the word of God. And at a point, a reference was made to a particular folk in the ministry at the time who rebelled against him. And we were trying to talk him out of the thing the folk did. We were trying to tell him, sir. You made an impact in that man's life. Even though he did what he did, but the impact you made in his life gave him an element of result. In fact, the man's church right now is doing well. My father said he is not doing well. We said, sir, you, you, you are not getting our point of the argument. You are such an effective man. You have raised this man. You brought him from our village. You brought him to town. He was a barber. He used to, he used to cut people's hair. That was what he was doing. And, and when he came, you refined him. You polished him. And now he even has a PhD, courtesy of you. I said, sir, you are doing a very good job in people's lives and we all appreciate you. Forget about the fact that he rebelled. Because of all the people that he is contemporary with or those who are like colleagues of him who also have churches the way he does church the way he has results with the church sir he is still a better success than them all my father said i said he is not a success at that point we rested our case and we needed to listen to what he was saying because to us people gathered for the man he had a church he was doing, he bought cars, he even built a house. My father said, it is not success. Some of the things that you look at as success, who has told you whether it is success or not? Before you start getting raised by what you don't know. You've heard that cliche, all that glitters is not gold. What was defined, stand up. Some days ago, weeks ago, or months ago, I sat you down and I was describing the same things to you. I highlighted how many areas to you? How many? Three. That's not, it's not three. Five. I listed five areas for you. What is success on this? What do you call success on this? I listed five of them for you. And I told you there's more. And I told you I'll be answering you as you ask questions. Sit down. I don't do that to everybody. Stand up again. I don't do that to everybody. Because not everybody wants to be helped and taught. If you see a ministry now, they buy an aeroplane and build a university, you say, success! My father says it's not. Sit down. Their next generation will tell.
This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein. What is, what is, what is the book in a mouth? Somebody say the word of God. That is the book in a mouth. You are listening to the word of God today. That is the book in your mouth. I love Friday service. That Friday service, hey God, just God. <laughs> I want to beg him for some more time so I can, maybe you should just let me expand the time so that you just come, like you come on Friday now, I just teach you like four hours. We just do that Hebrews 8 and 9. You know, we, we've not finished 8, right? You know, we are still going to 9. So even when we get to that 9, we'll still go back to 8. But you know, we didn't even read all of 9. We just read like 5 or 6 verses or 7 verses in 9, right? Were you in the service? Why are you talking like that? Amen. Amen. You love the word of God? He said, that is what will bring you good success. Let me tell you something. Whenever I have some results, and I cannot trace the results to the word of God, I am always afraid because I know it will not be continuous. One-off blessing. A blessing that just happened once and did not repeat itself. If you want to continue to have certain results, he said, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Day and night. He now says, that thou mayest observe to do. Now, a lot of people cannot really even do the word of God. It's too hard. I think the thing is affecting all of us. Because God will give me instructions. And sometimes I am so afraid of the person he sent me to. I begin to twist the message. I, I adjust it. I'm telling you the truth. What he told me. I will now. Mawai. Why? Because I want, to, I want to deliver the message in a presentable manner. Before you know it, the, thing is, the, the meaning is changing. Aradaka. So, I saw myself getting terrible results. In fact, sometimes I will now give a prophecy. What will now happen will now look like absurd in the prophecy. So, Hey, and I know where the problem came from. That was not what he said. He, you should have said it the way he said it. You should have done it the way he said you should do it. For instance, God says, lift your hands. You just do something like this. Is there a difference between this and this? And you're not going to do this. That's exactly what we do. God said, oh yeah, kneel down to pray. You now do something like this. That's how we behave. You will, you will, you will start twist the thing. One day, we were in Lagos. So, we, we, I can't remember, maybe we went for a program or so. Then we go back to the room. When we got to the room, I just saw it. I saw the vision that kneel down and pray and thank God. I said, I'm going to do it. So as I was, I'm going to do it. Before you know it, my wife walked in. So when she came in, ah, there's human presence. You know why? Because you don't want, you know, there's this scripture about fasting. In St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, you remember the verse? That when you fast, you should not appear to, man, to men to fast, right? So, if my mind now converted it. That in fact, when you pray, don't appear to men to pray. So, because of my wife's presence, I was not praying that my wife would leave the room. So, I should go to the living room or somewhere. So that when she leaves, I'll now quickly kneel down and pray. 
She did not leave. In fact, she now brought food. So she brought the food. I sat down on the chair, shaking my leg. Lord, chase her out. Lord, do something about this. She now opened the food. She was, she was asking me, is this this one or this one? So you know what I just did? I just closed it back. I said, my wife, because when God speaks to you, the thing will now be getting louder. The more the situation is getting worse. You see, the, this thing, kneel down and pray, it has turned to somebody entered. Kneel down and pray, tray. Kneel down and pray, coolers, opening. Kneel down and pray. Which one do you want? So I closed it. Ah! You need to loud with you. <laughs> the information was very loud. I said, my wife. So, because I'm in a problem now, I said, so you, pray. Pray now to thank God. So we sat down there. Don't forget, kneel down to pray, right? So I said, my wife, oh yeah, pray. So she started praying. Both of us sat there, opposite. The prayer was not getting long. In my mind, I say, just thank God. She was not listing things that I can't even understand. The Spirit of God told me, say, I said, you should need. Why are you like this? Oh. <laughs> so, while she was praying, I just decided to shift the chair. So the chair she was not hearing sound because she closed her eyes. She was hearing sound. Of the chair moving. As the chair was moving, I knelt down. You know what she did? She opened her eyes and knelt down as well. So I now decided to crawl to the bedside from the table where we were eating to the bed side and knelt on the bed. Then she crawled with me. She was still saying those things. All kinds of things. Madam, just thank God for... <laughs> she was just... See, as we knelt down now and crawled to the bedside, then, then she held my hand and continued the prayer. Under two minutes, the prayer was over. In my mind, I said, Oh, oh Benny. I burn I know Nisha. This thing could have been over almost 30 minutes ago. Did you see what I just described to you now? You know, my own now is not as if, okay, so I now went to the road. One car wanted to hit me, so God just helped me. Somebody. <laughs> you know, there are some people whose stories are like that. In that, what you are, you've been disobeying layer. Your own is now up to the point that a car wants to hit you. You don't hear things like kneel down and pray. You don't hear it. Your own is now postponed like one week, one month. You know you're supposed to have prayed like, you're supposed to have fasted three months ago. But when, you're, when you woke up in the morning, your stomach goes, if God wants me to fast, why is it? It means there's no fasting today. Then somebody just came to you and said, we're offering of father today, of father rice. In your mind, uh -uh. If, God did not, if God wanted me to fast, why would they bring the father? Me, what? wanted me to pray. Why did she enter? When it's my personal policy that nobody should be there when I'm praying. It's a personal policy. It's not in the Bible. When Pastor Mo was preaching to us, you remember when those disciples were, pre were, were, were sleeping? When Jesus was praying, you remember? He came back. He asked them, why could you not watch with me? You remember, it was only the first time he asked. You remember when he was telling us, he said the other two times, he said it was not necessary to ask, which means that prayer must have lasted about three hours. These boys were just sleeping for three hours. When he now said, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Then their eyes now open. Everyone just check with me. No, that, that's right. Until they are not using sword to chase you. Until you are not dreaming bad, bad dreams. This thing started from little... said, the reason you heard the word is so that you can meditate on it day and night, so that you can what? Observe to do according to all that is what? Written there. He said, for them, thou shalt make thy way what? Prosperous. I have realized that there's nobody who is going to help me make my way prosperous. I am the one. Two years ago, retreat, spring, God told us, he said, when you are doing things and somebody is blocking you, what do you do? 
Turn. Because you have to succeed. Make sure you are not stopped. If you are stopped, it means the word of God is not in you. Why did you stop? Turn from the place and go to another one. Because you must succeed. Somebody say, I must succeed. He said, for then thou shalt make thy way. You know the shocking part. Those of you who have taken topic, is it seven? I think it's is it eight. Is it eight or seven? I always mix it up. How to control your day. Eight. You see? I believe in that class you were told that it is not God that will make your way prosperous. You. He said, that's what he said. He said, when the word of God is in you, he said, you make your way prosperous. Let me look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I promise you, I will be very prosperous. Is it because you are just determined? No. Tell him, say, because the word of God has become my meditation. Somebody say, hallelujah. See, expect me to bring you testimonies always. Expect me to bring you testimonies always because the word of God has been my meditation. It says, and then thou shalt have. You see, he says two things. The first one, he says, for them. The second one says, and them. Notice that. I memorized this verse many years ago. It says, for then thou shalt make thy way. And then. You love the word of God? The law of the law is per- the, the, the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. You see? So, you know that once the word of God comes to us like this and you hear this theme for the month, that means this is what will happen to you for the month. So what will happen tomorrow? Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, when you come on Sunday. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. No, no, don't worry, guys. Thanks. The testimony of the Lord this sure. Making wise the simple. Look at that. More to be desired the day than gold. Yet yeah, the much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey. And the honeycomb. Let me take it one more time. No, no, no. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, <laughs> making wise the simple. Now, do you know that making wise, that word wise there, do you know it means good success? Let me quickly show you something. Ah, is this the right time to show you? Can I show you something? You know what confused Eve in Genesis chapter 3? Uh, let's check verse 6. Look at this. Everybody look at this. It says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, ah, God, is this in the correct time? Because if I tell or you know now that I'm going to tell us some scripture, this is this is this is these are the kind of crises I run into because these things are just meditations that are just you know when you're on the expressway, some cars will just pass. Yeah, this that's this that type of. Uh. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, now 
You see, she saw it was good. Amen? Before people do some things, they saw that it was good. They didn't see that it was bad. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one what? Do you know the word why is here is good success? She thought, when I take this, I'm going to have good success. But what she saw as good ended to be her downfall. That is what happens when the word of God. You remember topic one, life class. The reason Eve fell was because when she was asked the question, she could not say exactly what God said. And it is exactly what God says that will give you success. There are some verses that are disturbing me. Maybe in the evening. If those verses continue to, you know, because those things they just pound, like pound, pound, pound. So if they continue to pound on me in the evening, I'll give it to you. So, the, the, the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. So, it is the law of God that would, so he is the one who will help you to say, to see, Oh, hallelujah now. Why? Because what you thought was good. See, everything that will confuse you from this morning, they are taken out of your life. Everything you lay your... I'm saying a better prayer than your amen. Everything that will confuse you, God will take it away from you. Oh my God, if your amen is stronger, the things that will now give you success are the things that you'll be doing from now. Every day for you will be good success. If I'm talking to you, shout amen like a glorious man. Touch everybody around you one more time. Say, bless, 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 bless. Sit down, please. Making wise the simple. Simple there means fool. Making wise a fool. A fool was a fool yesterday. By the time the word of God came into him, he became what? Why are you not talking to me now? He became what? More to be desired a day than go. <laughs> when you sit with your Bible or you are listening to yourself, where is the uh, Elwa? Where is the uh, dearest girl? You know what happened, both of you? When we finish the service on Friday, you know I told you what happened to me when I was coming right on friday so when we finish the service oh rabba shit so when we finish the service on our way home we started playing you again then so we now played the last part that's it you know you sang it twice so we went to play the last part when the last part finished my wife just swiped this she said apologies apologies <laughs> And swiped it again to the beginning of the service. Listen to me. I went to see her. Some was it yesterday or some hours after, and she was still watching the service yesterday. How won't our lives be good in the evening? Will you people give me allowance to preach in the evening? If you give me allowance, I'm gonna preach in the evening service. She was still watching the service. So, after some time, she came to where I was. She saw my laptop on my lap. And I was watching the same service. I went to see her again after some hours. She was watching the same service. More to be desired than day than gold. You see, if somebody did not de describe it or define it for you that the word of God is sweet, you will think it is boring. Because you used to go to church when they are preaching, you bring out your phone and you'll be chatting. Or you'll be sleeping. Or you'll be browsing. You did not know that the devil was the one just trying to tell you, oh boy, if you get that word, you will prosper. So the way I will kill you I will not bring armed robbers to your house. I will not make sure anything happens to your... Anybody, nobody will die. But you will just not prosper. And you will not be able to explain. And you will be trying. Because the element of it has been disabled. 
when you could not love the word of God. More to be desired a day than gold. Yeah, the much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey. Can you imagine? It's sweet. Have you tasted honey before? Are you aware honey is sweet? It says more to be desired a day than gold. Everybody pray in your spirit. Just <laughs> this something is happening. Precipitations in your human spirit. So this thing is sweet. It's sweet. Thank you, ladies. Please sit down, ladies. You, you, this thing is sweet. But we, we, we were made to believe the word of God is boring. And some people, what they call the word of God, and they are doing, they are not prospering with more to be desired a day than gold. <laughs> Everybody pray your spirit just like one or two minutes. Sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. The testimony of the Lord is sure. <laughs> Making wise the simple more to be desired day than gold <laughs> yeah the more than fine gold sweeter also than the honey and the honey cold more to be desired day than gold yeah, the much fine gold Sweeter also than the honey More to be desired today than gold Yeah, the much fine gold also than the honey wow than the honeycomb so there are people who go for money when they are supposed to go for the word of God more to be desired than dead than gold Woo! I love the word of God get a much fine gold sweeter also than the honey grana mana 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 more to be desired than dead and go. Get a much fine go. I hope you are still praying in your spirit. Something is precipitating in your lives. You are going to come back and start telling us things that God has done. More to be desired than dead and go. Get a much fine go. Sweet also than the honey, and the more to be desired than day than gold. Yeah, the much fine gold. Irabasha talavagaba. Sweet also than the honey. Iyalabaradaba. More to be desired than day than gold. Yeah, the much fine gold Sweeter also than the honey When the honey come More to be desired than the gold Yeah, the much fine gold Thank you, Lord In Jesus' mighty name Put your two hands on your chest. Say, Lord, I love you. With all my heart. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Come on, say it from your spirits now. Come on. You ladies are doing so well. That's the blessing of God in your life. That's why. Come on, people of God. Hey. 
I want the Lord to hear you. I want the Lord to hear it. God. One more time from your human spirit. I love you, Lord. Hey. That's why. Ah. 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 Just one more time from your human spirit. Now lift your two hands and tell him one more time. Say, I love. Why my heart is filled with prayer? Sing it again from your human spirit as the anointing of God is moving. That's why. That's As you are singing it, the anointing of God is creating new experiences, new testimonies. That's why. I'm not just meeting you in a, in a, in a, a vague session. This is not vain at all. The blessing of the Lord is on you. That's why. If I give you two more times, two more opportunities, from your human spirit, you are the instrument of your song with the spirit that only Leola, that's why the yellow nile ayo, that's why my heart is filled. This is the last time, everybody, with your two hands spread with your spirits raised. Onile o go seo seo. That's why. Look upon our worship, King of Heaven. Onile ayo. That's why my heart is filled with praise. You are my emphasis. Oni le ogo se o 
Onile ayo seo Thank you, King of Heaven. Take your seats, please. Let me show you a few more scriptures. I want to give you five scriptures has been shared in every of our churches of those that God worked with beyond their generation Those that God worked with beyond their generation. Genesis chapter 15. I'm going to read from verses 12 to 16. I'll read it to you. Lord, I praise you, my God. I wish, I wish, I wish I read to you earlier than that. Let me read to you from verse 7. Let me fulfill my wish. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of all of the Chaldees to give thee this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I inherit it? And he said unto him, take me an heifer of three years old. Imagine now that he went to take an heifer of two years old. You see, there's these people that God gives instruction. The Bible says, when you want to take an offering. You know, hello, are you feeling me? When you want to give God an offering and you now discover that you pick one and you now say, ah, it's too big. And go for another one. You know what God said? He said, take the two. Uh, 
I got it, I got it, I got it. Got it. You know, sometimes I just drop those kind of things. Pah, as we call. See, see you next time. You know, there are some of these messages you say, God bless you, see you next time. That's the, that's the, that's it. That's not what was said in the preaching, but that's what the preaching means. This one I just said now means see you next time. <laughs> so, specific. Take me and Hifa of three years old, the she goat of three years old, and a ram three years old, and turtle dove and a young pigeon. See, why is God speaking like this? Why is God speaking? Why is God speaking to you the way he does in this house? Let me tap two or three people around you, tell them because of what he wants to do with you. It's not normal, brothers and sisters. It's not. These things we are saying are not normal. I was the one that came to you and said, listen to news. Then the Lord said, it is wounding you. So, help me look at your neighbor and say, it will be so sad, so sad. that the word of God can no longer find you. Tell him, say, it will be so sad. Yala baga ya ya, e ya ye ye, e ye o unile ola. Hey, next verse. So he said three. This one three. This thing is looking like ritual. This one three years old. Someone say ah, this one you put on. This one. This thing is looking like ritual. Yes. Because it's beyond my generation. It's beyond my my realm, my sense. And he took unto him all this. You see, he did what God said. Exactly. And divided them in the midst and laid each piece one against another but the birds divided he not and when the fowls came down upon the carcass, carcasses Abraham, Abraham drove them away now this is the verse I, I, I want to, to read to you and when the sun was going down a deep sleep fell upon, upon Abraham and lo and horror of great darkness fell upon him you see when you fulfill all the instructions of God the necessary information will, will, will come to you in your dream you won't be dreaming rubbish And he said unto Abraham, Know of a shorty that I see shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them. How long? 400 years. Can you imagine? If God talks to you, how many of you in this building, God has ever spoken to you about the next 400 years? You see? You know what the challenge is? How much of obedience have you been given to instructions? So that it can be beyond your generation. That you will succeed is not a question. What will happen after? That's the question. As long as you are conversant with the word of God. I love you in this house because you don't do our pastor. That's not how, why you come to church. You will have been in church this morning whether I was here or not. That is correct church. Clap for yourself. Why? Because, fuck, human being. You know when people go to church for a human being? They've missed it too. Fuck, that cannot help himself. You go for God. You go for what God wants to say. So, you know why you're hearing this word this morning? That the move of God in your life might be beyond your time. Say amen. Amen. You like it? You see, you don't hear this anywhere. Go to television. You listen to the word of God for, for 500 days. You cannot hear this. So-called TV preaching. Those ones are effect, effect, sensation. Yeah. 400 years. And also, that nation whom they shall serve, will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with what? Great substance. God was telling Abraham hmm, the prosperity of 400 years. They will have their own money. But then, when they are not coming out of that nation, they will not have a lot of money. So, if anybody was in Egypt, hey, 
If anybody was in Egypt, huh? And he was not sure of their finances. And he picked Genesis 15. Hmm? He will know what their finances will look like. Because God already told somebody. One of the reasons many of us are not sure and certain of our finances is because no, God told nobody before you. Now, don't let it repeat itself for those coming after you. Ooh. So, can you imagine? I begin to talk to my children about their future. And about their future. Future. There's already a direction. What will save me in evening service? I will really need to be watching this service very well because I'm not having layers of... I will get to a point and I will pen the game, I will pause. Because I'm supposed to tell you more now. There's something I'm supposed to tell you now. But I cannot tell you yet. I'll tell you in the evening. And I know what they are, so when you come, I'll watch the service. Maybe I'll, I'll have to write some notes down. Now, look at this. And then, so, and thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. So God is now telling Abraham how he will leave the world. You see that he didn't die in an accident. Oh, of some strange disease. Thou shalt be buried in a good... Oh, so if Abraham was in an air fly, air, airplane, and the plane doing... Everyone just close his leg. We tell all the folks that don't worry. I'm not yet old. Are you, are you getting this thing? Because <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> oh God. But in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Just lift your turn and say, Lord. Tell me more beyond my time. Say amen. You know he heard you. So now, you are not going to be living for yourself alone anymore. You are not living for the generation coming after you. Some of you are looking at me and saying, I'm not yet married. What matter? What matters is the word of God. This man now did not have a child and God was telling him for generations, somebody that doesn't have a baby. It's in the sound like that. Make sure it doesn't sound like that anymore. Numbers 18. Let me show you another one. Verse 20. I think I'll be precise with this one. Numbers 18, 20. Folk, uplink good. Okay, great. You are sure? Great. And the Lord spake unto Aaron. Verse 20, did I say? 20? And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land. Are you, are you seeing the condition for which God is dealing with them beyond that it is always based on the word of God? And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part and thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance. For their service which they serve. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh. Even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Neither must the children of Israel henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation. Yea, pray this service. We couldn't get there. Lest they bear sin and die. Okay. Look at this. But the Levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever. Throughout your generations, you have been... Okay, i got to be patient, right? 
I gotta be patient, right? You have been a shelter. I gotta be patient, right? I gotta, I gotta be patient. Oof. Is, it, is she gonna sing it for me? Are you serious? Okay, yes, yes. Oh God. See, does it happen to you folks that you're on this platform? It looks like you are flying. <laughs> That's what was happening to me right now. Did it happen to you, baby? Oh my God. Do you what? Ask your neighbor, is there any anointing around you? What did they say? Feel your neighbor like you are checking their temperature, checking. Show show anointing, Sha. Oh my God. Oh. You see? Because somebody is receiving it. So these people, they, they've made it. They've prospered. They are doing what God... Okay, I, I want to tell you something. Can I tell you? The people that God works with, sometimes it doesn't look extraordinary. It will just be the normal day in, day out, day in, day out. Are you aware? Hey, Rhoda, are you aware? Are you aware that those in the days of David... Hmm? If they see how we are reading about him today and they had the opportunity to be with David again, do you know they are going to serve him better? Because they underrated him when he was with them. Some of them would have joined him in the bush. <laughs> you feeling me? They would have followed him because they know that the moment that guy comes out of the bush, he's going to the palace. But they didn't know. So those who are abandoning you right now is because they don't know where you are going. But you need to know where you are going. Because of what God said. Oh. Because it will not look as if there's anything. For instance, if I put off this robe now, it's going to be like a flat folk. It doesn't always show. You know when they are sang that song? And he's walking this street so, and he's leading fools astray. That's what they said. So they said Jesus was leading fools astray. If some of them are able to come to like today, 2024, and like fast forward and say, is this what Jesus will become? Then they now reverse back to, to, to when Jesus walked and said, Jesus, don't worry, I'll, I'll be carrying your bag, sir. Let my name over the entire record. Those disciples, when he was calling them by the sea, Shakta Dada, Idabanama. Those disciples, when he was calling them by the seaside, when Jesus died and Simon Peter went back to fish, if Simon Peter knew, he won't go back to fish. He will have served better. When they were asking him, it's like you are part of them and he was denying. He would say, sir, I am part. Because he is sure. You see, Jesus met a thief on the, on the cross, the two thieves. You remember one that was accusing that he didn't save all of them there. One said, Oga, you, you are here because you deserve it. This man didn't deserve it. He said, Lord, please remember me. Jesus said, fuck this night. Aya! <laughs> Can you imagine as Jesus is walking into paradise, you are following him. That guy would have had a special status. have had a special status because jesus entering paradise one guy is following him when everybody what see the other folk died went to hell and he was with jesus <laughs> let me look at your neighbor say can you see my tomorrow That's why I love this work. The work of God. Ooh. HODs, do you love your work? Do you love it when God brings people to church? Regardless of how they look. I was hearing on you to say some of them don't even have transport. Fare. Some of them don't have the means. Some of them don't have the joy. Some of them don't have the temperament. Some of them. Hey folk, do you love it? Because when God polishes their lives, can you see their tomorrow? You know, I told you fantastic testimonies about, about Abuja, right? There was a folk that came to church. He could not read and write. He came to church in short nicker. 
So I saw him while I was preaching in the morning. I said nothing to him. In fact, when the service was over, I went to set some sound for evening show and all that because we have much more people in the evening show. The hall was almost filled up in the evening. So, I was ministering by the power of God because one of the reasons I love singing and all these things is because I, I, whenever I want to preach to you, I just want to lose my memory. Because when you are still very human, you just be saying normal things. People, you'll be talking, people saying, yes. Yo, yes, of course. Uh, we have heard it before. I Bori. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but when you switch into the spirit, nobody has heard it before. So I was in the spirit. We were just enjoying. Then we went into, we went into, El Shaddai, El Shaddai. Then people were, the power of God. So, you know what happened? Immediately I saw the guy again. I said, folks, stand up. Because I saw you in the morning service and I passed you two or three times. He said, yes, sir. I said, I didn't talk to you because I was going to watch out for your consistency. I said, you're going to serve God? He said, yes. If I knew it, after the service, you know, I gave him some instructions. After the service, she, he came to see Minister, Minister Jemima. He was carrying Minister's bag. Now, you know, Minister has two PAs now. Minister Jemima has two PAs now. So, but this guy said, I get him for carrying the minister's bag. I was following her about like, meanwhile, he does not have a place to stay. He sleeps wherever night falls. But he was able to recognize, I can't speak English, but I can see God. I joined these people. So, it's not all of them that will be bankers. You know, the, our building is just behind Garake Hospital. Doctors attended our show, our services, and nurses. They came out of the hospital to attend service. <laughs> on Friday, all the first-time guests that came to church on Friday joined the church. <laughs> don't worry, in the evening. How many evening have I said now? Is it up to five or six? You don't worry. They might not look like it. I said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to be selling pure water. I said, so what do you need? He said, I just need a bath. A bath. I need a bowl where I can put the pure water inside so I can be selling it. I said, minister, get him the bowl two days time. Follow. You know where they're selling it? He said, yes. Follow him to the market. I said, you're not going to get it tomorrow, but you're going to get it on Tuesday. You see why I don't like people associating with me anyhow? Where were you when we were? You see when I sang on Friday, you, you through the years, play it for me. You have seen my tears. You know what I'm singing with that song? Where's, where's praise? My God, do you, know that, do you know that that song is my song? Because nobody knows my sacrifices. When I heard that song, the only painful thing, joy is not here. Joy, joy is in Abuja. You know, in Abuja now, she's not even singing in the choir. She's just walking. When you get to the work of God in a certain level, you don't... You see, I don't want us to be limited by confinements of space and ideologies and environment. Don't, don't be limited by those things. Because you look at me, I'm not... Of course, I, I don't do more than my old... I mean, what's it called? Uh, first degree. It's according to my spirit. My Bible satisfies me. If, I, if, if tomorrow I like, I can put Dr. Scriptures on my name. It doesn't concern anybody. But the results you get, it will not be matched by anything else. Are you feeling me? Why? Because all what you are doing, God is registering it. And then when he is changing lives, you see, what Solomon enjoyed was not just a Solomon sacrifice. It was David plus Solomon. Maybe I'll tell you, you know, some scriptures. You know, that's the problem now. <laughs> There's one funny scripture that's coming to my head now, but I cannot read it in this service. It's Psalm. So you serve the Lord. Don't say, you know, don't say, oh God. Don't say, I just sing, I sing solo. Mm -mm. 
serve with your life. I've told you those things before. I don't have to come now. Let me I just come from America now. And I say, so in America, you don't say, oh yes, I gotta serve God. Mm-hmm. If you serve God, you serve God. Additional testimonies are additional testimonies. You serve God. That's the opportunity you have now. This is where you have it. Through the years, you have seen my tears. Lord, you always near. You are always here. You need to know all my days, all my days, because he's the one that saw my life. You have seen my frame. Ah, yeah. Lord, you know my name. You know my name. One more time, sing the song that because you will now be committed, sing it. Through the years. If you are going to be committed, that's when you should sing the song. All of you who have been faithful to evangelism, you are the one I'm singing for now. All of you are faithful to departmental meetings, you are the one I'm talking about. All of you who sometimes don't even have money, but you say, I must pay my dues. You are the one I'm singing for all my days. Sing the next line, very important. You have seen my prayer. Because of evening service, stop the music. Sit down. Go back to the former song. Everybody sit down. Sit down. Next scripture. Did I finish that one? Did I finish it? What was the last one? That among the children of Israel, they have not no inheritance. Can you see why? Can you see some of the roots when I tell you I will never build a house for myself? I'll build for people. Hey, we have to fulfill that thing that we discussed. That building for, 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 for. We've got to fulfill it. That's why. First Kings 2. Let me read you another one. Go to verse 1. Something that will be beyond your time. This one is not just for now. What these ones we are doing? Let me look at it. the person beside you. Say, One day I looked at my wife. I said, Mama, say, Amen. Mike, I Hallelujah. Are you feeling me? Look at it. It says, Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes. And his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies. Are you seeing the word of God again? God wants to do something now. He's beginning to talk about the word of God again. As it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Oh, give me some water because I think my body is drying out. This heat is serious. That the Lord may continue his word which he spake concerning me, saying, Everybody, look at this. If thy children take heed to their way to walk before me in truth with their heart, and with all their soul, there shall not fail thee, said he, a man on the throne. That is in your line. You will just be always on the throne. But there's the word of God first. To somebody say, give me an offering. To somebody say, you must help me forever in the, in the tabernacle. This one now, I said, if you take it to the statues that I commanded Moses. And to take heed in their way to follow what I said, the status of Moses, he said, They shall not fail thee, a man. Said he, a man. On the, they shall not fail. Give us some new translation. This one, I love the statement, they shall not fail thee. Or maybe you should stay with it. But can you master that statement? They shall not fail thee, a man. Let's stick with that translation. 
There shall not fail thee a man, said he, on the throne. So God is speaking to him now beyond his time. I know, I know, I know. That's why, that's why, that's why. That's why, that's why. There shall not fail thee. Can you imagine that our lives will have kings everywhere? Generation after generation. So, I want to show you something. Can I just show you something more? Can you now imagine that beyond one man that everybody is now kings? Ooh. Let me show you another scripture. Second Kings chapter 10. I'll just read one verse to you. One guy made God very happy. He made God very, very happy. No drink. Look at this. And Ahab had 70 sons in Samaria. No, I said verse 30 folk. And the Lord said unto Jehu, Because thou hast done well in executing that which is right in my eyes. Can you see the word of God again? That is, I told you, why are you not talking to me now? He said, I told you to do something, you did it. He said, because you did it and has done unto the house of Ahab according to all that was in my heart thy children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne hello hello what did he tell David there shall not fail the state now to sit on the throne of Israel right now one guy came Jehu, he came a few generations after. God said, Jehu, you are very impressive. You see that David's line, they have messed me up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a, a throne for you. Why? Because I must keep my promise to David. So I create a parallel throne. So David will be there as I promised him. You two, you will have. But your own will not be more than four. Can I add a, a statement? If you impress me, it can increase. But I am not sure. Will you serve God? There are some temptations that are, that are messing some Christians up. The thing is not targeting you, it's the, those coming after you, so that you don't have tomorrow. Did you read the first verse? Of that second king's ten. How many sons did, did Jehu have? I'm uh, sorry, did Ahab have rather? Seventy. Do you know that they were cleared at once? That is what not serving God can do. So that you have many children does not secure your tomorrow. They were wiped at once. Just like the children of, of Gideon. All the children of Gideon, Abimelech wiped them in one moment. Seventy boys. Because of time. I'm, I'm really looking at the time now. I've got, I've got to give me more folk. So my body's dripping. Jeremiah 35. Let me give you one more. I told you five. This thing is not always happening in scriptures, but the Spirit of God, you know, I told you I don't know too much of the Bible, but the Spirit of God will just come and tell me. Yeah, tell them this. Tell them this one. Jeremiah 35. Let me just pick two or three verses there. Go to verse. You know, this story, I've read it to you a long time ago, but let me just look for one verse that probably encapsulates. Go to verse 16. Let's, let's start from 16. Everybody look at this. It says, because the sons of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father. Can you see the word of God there? Yes, Why are you not talking to me now? Yes, so there is always the word of God first. Because they have performed the commandment of their father. Can you see? I told you when there's a father, it's always sure. 
Because it gives you definitions. You say, this one is not success. Don't follow it. You say, yes, sir. Okay, sir. Which he commanded them. But these people had not akin unto me. You see? All these failures, they will not do what God said. Let's go. Next verse. Four. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken unto them, but they have not heard. And I have called unto them, but they have not answered. So, Jeremiah said unto the house of the Rechabites, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Because you have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab, your father, and kept all his precepts, and done according unto all that he had commanded you, therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab the son of Rechab shall not want a man to stand before me forever. Who did God promise the priesthood forever? Priesthood forever. Aaron, those are the Levites, right? So because of the Rechabites now, God now created a parallel. He said, Aaron, don't worry, you're on your own, but I put Rechab. See, the sky, there's space for everybody. It is these people on ground that are causing problems. Shoot up, no more problems. Have you realized that there's no space crisis in the air? But on ground, people can be colliding, not in the air. Everybody promise God now, say, Lord, I'll serve you forever. Bow your heads and pray for just a few seconds. Say, Lord, give me templates for my generations coming. In the evening service, I'll take you a little further than these things. That's why. Just one or two more minutes. I'm about to stop the prayer. TP. Everybody pray. Including you. Everybody pray. Hey, 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 come on. Lord, for my generation's coming, can I do something? It's sure that we will succeed, good success, but beyond our time, but beyond our time, we have heard words, we have received templates, we've received instructions. Thank you for our Father. Thank you for our Father. Thank you for instructions. But still be praying, be praying, be praying. Come on. Pray, pray, pray. Just about 30 more seconds and feel, feel, feel this thing in your human spirit. Everybody pray. Templates for my children, templates for my children's children. Oh Lord, yeah, yeah.
Holy Father. Holy Father, Brada Balaka Dabalabala. Bayalaka Bayaka Baba. Templates for generations coming. In Jesus' mother name. Isaiah 59. Everybody look up to your screen. One more condition. One more condition. Isaiah 59. Everybody look at verse 21. Look at the condition. This is the condition that I've been asking you. I've been asking you. So you see the word of God. 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 As for me. Everybody read it slowly but loudly and excellently. Want to read. Fear the Lord. Uh huh. And my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, said the Lord, from henceforth and for. You see that? So what's the condition? The word I put in your mouth. Make sure it doesn't get to your children's and change. Same words. Same words. Rana kabakosi. Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. Everybody take your offerings now. Mm. Hear the word of the Lord, you shall not die, but you shall live. You shall declare the words of God. Hear the word of God. Nothing will be tough for you. Amen. Hear the word of God. Ability to do as you hear has been released to you. Amen. Put your giving on your left hand, lift your right hand quickly. Quickly pray for 30 seconds again. Pray singing for me. Is it Ewa or is it the choir? After two minutes, you come on the two minutes. But everybody pray in your spirits first. Oh, yes, sir. Once in a while. Once in a while. Zakara da basha balana. Ah! Eshe. Everybody stand up. Lift your two hands. Thus say the Lord, I am putting importance in your life. <laughs> if they thought you were a non entity, because of this service and the prayer you just prayed now, you are becoming a principality. Do your hands in your ear like this. Say, they will hear news. 
that God has been good to me. In the same vein, shout hallelujah. You know, I can't hear your hallelujah. See, my human spirit is looking for your hallelujah. Come on, somebody vibrate around here and shout hallelujah. Go ahead and do your giving while, while they sing for us. Hey, hallelujah.
every generation To every generation To every generation Oh, oh To every generation Lord
Wow. They are all important to us because of what they do for the Lord. Every one of them. And this month is very fantastic. I think we just, uh, a lot of people are going to take me out because I see a lot of birthdays there. So, your, your birthday is this month, you, you take me out. Whether or not you are in this installation, it doesn't matter. I will just go to the shopping mall on your behalf. I'll do the video, I'll just be picking. So, you pay as I go to my house. <laughs> One more time, let's make them know that it's a glorious, glorious time. And in the same spirit, because when God gives you an opportunity to be grateful for your birthday, it means you are saying, Lord, another year, another year. And so, all of you whose birthdays, just lift your two hands where you are, and I pray for you. What they say, age with grace. But I say, when I was reading my Hebrews chapter 1, and it said, that years shall not fail. And then I got into the book of Psalms in 102. That was where he picked it from. Meanwhile, he did not say, and the psalmist said in Hebrews, he didn't say so. I just saw your thy years shall not fail. I pray for you. The same words that were spoken about God, since you are sons and daughters of God, I pray for you. Your years will not fail. Your decisions will not fail. This new year comes with special blessings. I say to you what the Lord said to me, that a new move begins when he said that i received it and i pray for you a new move begins with you Amen. to the glory of jesus christ thank you king of heaven in jesus mighty name we've prayed one more time let's make them know how blessed they are happy birthday hallelujah don't forget in the evening we'll be back by five o'clock make sure you don't come late Everything matters. Some of you came late this morning. Why did you come late to church? Why? Don't come late. Next time. The service starts by 8.30. Be here by 8.30. In fact, be here before 8.30. That's one thing we saw in Abuja. People were around one hour before the service. The church that is just beginning. So don't let us be saying things like that. It is you they should copy. Not, I'm now coming to tell you that you, you, you came late to church. What are you doing in your, in your house? Some of them came from their office. On Sunday morning, he sneaked out of office. Then, before the service ended, he said he had to go back. But that he would still sneak out in the evening. And in the evening, where's... Stand up. Are you not the one he saw? Because he sometimes looks as if somebody's telling lies. He gave him his offering. He said, I'm going to, off to the office. He called him out. He knew he was one of us. How is your health? Has she bought pandedian for you? She did not give you pandedian. The way you are smiling. She gave you fura. Don't worry, I'll meet you after service. Are you feeling me? All of you who are sitting at that back, you are late comers. Don't do it again. It doesn't help your blessing. You know I won't deceive you. God does not like it. All, everything that happened before you came, all those songs they sang, all the worship, something that we, we were bouncing. In fact, uh, we met Mr. Essay. He was the one that told us that the road is, is, is blocked. If not, I will have arrived there. So we had to go and turn around and go and, go and take another road. My wife came to me and said, did you sleep? I said something like, do you know, I, I started sleeping around three. So you know what I did? I was playing some things so that I would not sleep off. So I was waking up every 10, 15 minutes till it was time to, to leave. Then those preparations happened. Then you now come late. Don't do it next time. 
and, and Friday. Many of you, I don't see you in Friday service. Where did you go? And you are working for generations to come. Is this how to work for generations to come when you come late to church or you, you miss services? And it's not that you go and watch the service. What are you doing? Don't do it next time. It is new people that should be looking at you and know what to do. Not the new people coming before you. Because I know some of you. Hallelujah. Do we have anyone coming for the first time today? Today is your first time in church. Just lift your right hand anywhere you are so we can know you are the one. We can pray for you. Anybody like that? You're coming for the first time. Anybody like that? Are you raising your hand or you are suggesting? Coming for the first time. I want to see because I thought I saw a hand going up, but it's like the person was doing something like this. <laughs> Anybody coming for the first time? Nobody coming for the first time in the service. That is strange. I cannot see the person though. Please, can you stand up? Uh, yes, yeah, stand up. I can see your hand. I think I saw your hand now. Please, would you stand so we can see you? What? Oh, she's standing already. How come I? Oh, is she the one over there? Okay, I can see you now. Good to see you. Welcome to church. Oh, wow. Now just lift your two hands where you are. And I declare, King of Heaven, that your blessing abounds. From now, our decisions will be heavenly. Because decisions dictate our destiny. So I pray for you. You will make decisions that will make your life good. The Word of God will be pasted in your mind. You will know what God wants you to do by time. Thank you, King of Heaven. And I declare upon you blessings. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, lady, we are happy to receive you today. It's a very, very beautiful thing to receive you in the house of God. So, we still have a few more things we want to tell you. We don't want you to hurry away. You see, there's a brother over there is raising his hand. Please just pick everything you came with and follow him. It will take you to the theater so that we can give you the right treatment. So, please do follow him right now. One more time, let's make them know that we are blessed to receive them yes keep celebrating she's not gone yet I think she's as tall as I am that's why I didn't see her Am I a little bit tall? Yeah, so she's a little taller than me, that's why. Because I was really looking. It's not like I, I thought I saw somebody. But... Praise God. Same spirit for those who are worshiping online for the first time. Same spirit, same welcome. There should be a number to the on the screen. Make sure to contact the number. We'll be waiting to receive you. You will not regret it in Jesus' mighty name. Um... Who started the service? Was it not the ladies? It was the ladies. Sophia, I love you. Thank you, my girl. You and Ewa. Let's make them know we are blessed by them. Come on. And the choir. I have a special announcement. My special announcement is some days ago I fought HOD John. I insulted him. If he was close to me, I would have given him a holy punch. But it was an online meeting. So, but Minister Onyedo rescued him from my hand. If not, I would have brought a brutalized H.O.D. John to church this morning. So, I will still fight you till I see what I want to see. So, and you are the reason I was fighting him. So you two don't come here and give me quality Jesus. Amen. Say quality Jesus. Hey, take body now. Yeah. It's only Pastor Temple that says things like that. So we are blessed by you. Was the word of God a blessing to you today? Yeah. 
You love the word of God. I love the word of God. Hallelujah. And uh, then Ichudewa came again and gave us one more. One more. And do you know the interesting part of it? I don't even know who chose the song. Did I choose the song? I chose the song. Do you know I didn't know this was the message? I just chose the song. Oh, now you put on Agbada. I don't see the Agbada. I say, God, don't send one chairman to our church today. <laughs> it's beautiful, though. Beautiful. Thank God you are not the one preaching. Even people will think you are the Jew of this ministry. They will think I'm the AGU. They will think I'm your altar boy. Hallelujah. So, in the evening, I, I just got to tell you up top that evening service will be very serious. It might not be very noisy or full of temperature, but it will be full of content. Look at your neighbor, say content. Yeah. To be full of content. So make sure to be here in the evening. Now, was your neighbor a wonderful neighbor today? Yes. Were they calm? Yes. Did they pray well? Yes. Did they challenge you with the way they were writing and blessing the Lord? All right, tell your neighbor, say you are doing well. Yes. Doing well. Yes. Hallelujah. Um, so before you go, look at your neighbor one more time. Say, in the name of Jesus, may this word abide with you. Say, from now and with every generation, with every generation, your God will not fail you. In Jesus' name. And say one more thing. You are assured of good success. As long as you are conversant with the word of God. Now look at him and say, surely God's grace, goodness, good success stays with you now and forever. And the people said, I love you with the love of Christ. You are the best church anybody wants. Well, you can't told you in the last seven. It's true. It's true, folks. You are the Best church anybody want to pastor. And I'm going to see you in the evening service. God bless you. Bye-bye.